Why hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Project Hospital with the services, a hospital services DLC. That's right, we're back with uh, this one and um, basically in the last episode, which was about a week ago now, but in the last episode we started um, to do up uh, some of uh, this area here. So we started focusing on hospitalization for our orthopedic section, uh, which was great fun. We were messing around with sort of different stuff, members and stuff like that, that we were having in there and that. We haven't finished the flooring or anything, and that's okay. We'll come to it very shortly. Um, but just a couple of comments just to, just to, that I noticed. Um, one, or, one or two of you mentioned um, uh, making sure that we had uh, toilets um, at the various sections of the hospital. It's a very, very good point. Um, we put toilets in here and over here and over here uh, for these sections, but not over here or over here um, for these sections. So definitely worth... Um, go, we'll be definitely doing that in this episode. The other thing we haven't done, um, which is very important, is um, any other staff rooms. The only staff room is actually behind the office here, which really was only ever designed for this section, uh, this small section, and now obviously it's a very big department, so we're going to want to put in another staff room um, and expand this department somewhat. So, um, emergency will be growing anyway, it tends to do that as the game goes on, emergency normally encapsulates a massive section of a downstairs hospital, um, That that's quite regular. So yeah, we're going to be we're going to be making sure that we do that in this episode as well. Also, whilst keeping an eye on our budget, which obviously we do have a massive loan that we took out. Um, so hopefully we can start looking at chipping that back as well. Um, so yes, so let's focus on a couple of things here. Um, the first thing is the toilets, um, because very rightly so, we do need to get a couple more of these bad boys in here. Um, and it might be worth um, looking to put one in over here. So let's uh, go to the build mode here. Let's go to the walls. We could copy and paste the toilet. I might do that, actually. Yeah, should we do that? Let's go to clone. Saves ourselves all this time in the world. And, uh, yeah, I'll put it there for now. There's a toilet there. Fantastic. And uh, we'll also have... I might put this toilet, actually, over here. Could go there, you know. Actually fits in well there, and there's still a door there. So we're going to put it there, actually, which looks very, very nice. Let's bring the wall up because I am conscious that it's a different wall. So if we go, which one is it? This one, like so. We'll take the camera and do the same there. There we go. And I know that looks a bit silly with the door there, but I'm quite happy with that, actually. Um, it looks sort of out of the way. If we actually lower this down, we can actually move this door. Yeah, so if we delete that door and then replace it, I'm quite happy with it being there. There we go. So there we go. We have a toilet in that department now. We have a toilet over in this department, even though it's a long way over there. We probably could look at putting toilets in here. Um, it wouldn't be an awful idea, and we'll probably look at that later on. Um, but now they don't have as far to walk. They only have to walk to here, as opposed to walk all the way down here to this toilet over here. That's That just helps them a little bit, I suppose. Um, I don't know whether we have to assign them to areas. I don't think that matters, because they're shared rooms, toilets. So, uh, da -da. yeah, I don't think... Uh, actually, maybe we do. So, radiology, is that toilets that was over here assigned to radiology? It is. For cleaning purposes as well, it's actually convenient that we do it this way. Um, and then medical laboratories, their toilets there, which is fine. And then orthopedy. Uh, let's make that restroom theirs, like so. And then emergency hospitalization. Uh, it's already their toilet, so that's fine. That's good. The other thing we haven't got over here at the moment, um, which is definitely worth considering, um, is a... Oh, we do have a cleaning cupboard. We just haven't hired a cleaner. 
I knew there was an issue because the, the floors weren't clean. So uh, we can hire... Hmm, difficult to say. I don't really mind if they're any good or not. They will end up doing a pretty good job. I'm not going to pay $1,000 to unlock their traits. You're pretty bad. You're an early bird. Early birds are good ones because it's only a day cleaner I need. Um, let's grab John Williams. He could be awful. I'm hoping he isn't. So there we go. We now have a few more toilets. Um, so that all works for us. That's good news. And uh, what we can do is fast forward time. Like it never happened today. Um, but yeah, on the whole, we had a really good day. We, we couldn't treat a couple of patients. I don't know why that was in the end. I think we might have just run out of time in the day. I don't know. I think that was probably it. But that's okay. No real issues there. Now, we can fast forward. Um, it will run at this pace because there are people still in the hospital. If there was no one in the hospital, then um, it would just like zoom really, really quickly to the next day. Um, now, patient numbers will be back to normal, so we won't get as many patients today as we did yesterday. Um, we might only get more because we, we did unlock um, some of the missions, which is pretty good. Um, what we do need to get in is intensive care. Now, intensive care units usually um, are close to the emergency department, but not directly sort of, like not, not on that department. They're just around the corner normally or above on the floor above an intensive care because those people are needed you know, to sort of be looked after quite immensely, um, obviously, because it's intensive, I suppose, that would make complete and utter sense. So what we can do here, because um, we are going to want to get that in place, because um, really we, we're not going to get any collapsed patients, we're not getting any severe enough, and we're sort of dealing with them pretty well. Um, hopefully we'll treat 45 patients today. Um, what we can do is we can start looking up here. So we can start looking upstairs. I am drastically thinking about doing up there um, but before we do I think what we could do is build this area out a little bit more um, and then maybe put in even a lift here because it's directly in this sort of corridor it's pretty central so I'm pretty happy of putting some lifts in here actually so let's go to build mode let's go to build foundations let's um, oh that's fine let's Let's build a foundation. Can we turn, rotate the camera? There we go, lovely stuff. Let's build that foundation out there. There we go. Nice foundation building. Then what we want to do is, um, I want to put in a lift. Now, I, there they are. So elevators, elevators, as you will. So if we rotate the camera again back here, we can, obviously get our elevators in here now we can have two I'm quite happy of having two in the central part of the hospital that's sort of where they're meant to go but how do they sit on the wall I suppose they go there like that right how much are they Two grand. That's not that bad, actually. We should probably get a couple in. Let's put two in. I don't know whether that's a good idea now. Or whether or not we've sort of... Got overexcited. But if we pay page up now, we'll be able to build here and put the lifts in here, right? Because that's where they already are, I suppose. Right, then what we want to do... Build a foundation... Where is it? Down, down there, there, there. So if for now we just go there, or do we just build, or add a new floor? That'll help. Copy tiles, uh, no. Copy walls. We could copy walls, but I'm going to say no. Just build a new floor. There we go. That's what we wanted. So then what we can do, cancel, go away. Then what we can do is we can um, start looking at building this wall across here so 
which is sort of good news. So what we'll do is this will be a basic corridor, so we'll have it, I suppose, look quite nice. There we go, look at that, lovely stuff. Basic corridor, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's just turn that so we can get that wall in there. Lovely stuff, and turn that so we can get that wall in there. There we go, lovely corridor. Excellent times. Let's get down our nice flooring, la 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 la. And now you'll never know that, you know, <laughs> this is going to be where people get really sick. So um, immediately what we can do here is click on the hospitalization um, of intensive Cario and um, start having a look at what we need. So the first thing we need is on call room, st nurse's station as usual, an intensive care unit, um, a cleaning closet as always, and that's about it. So um, it doesn't actually need much to start off with. I see you can be quite small, so well, that's what we're going to do. We're just not going to build a big one right now. We'll build a nice small one. Um, intensive care will have hmm, this big red wall with a white stripe in it. And we'll build it this size. There we go. Quite a big, quite a big room, um, but it will be multiple rooms. So yeah, that's exciting, I suppose. So let's get in a door to our ICU unit, which will be a double glass door with red lines on it. Because why not? Let's make it professional. All professional here in the biz. Let's get the. <laughs> Um, we probably want a nurse's station in place, so go, uh, not that one, I see you, uh, so nurse's station, and the nurse's station is very much going to be the entrance of our ICU, and then what we can do, if we click there, we can put in maybe some office desks, I'm not going to actually put in office desks, what I'm going to do is put in the reception desks as I always tend to lovely stuff and then if we just get a wall um, we can probably do that get a door this is restricted area. Nice, I like that. That looks good. And then what we can do is get in some of uh, the stuff that we actually need for the nurses station. So PC, PC, and PC. Let's get some cheap chair, chair, and chair. I do love some of the detailings in this game. They're just wonderful. Grab the meal tray, why not? Uh, nice plant there randomly. Poster of a heart poster. Um, There you go, a notice board looks nice, doesn't it? A table lamp and we put in a dodgy trash bin. Oh no, we can't actually, that needs to go. Can we control that? that? Lovely. Um, oh, we can put some files. <laughs> Just some random person's files down. I quite like that. I'm going to put some files over there as well. Looks a bit... Yeah, no, I'm quite happy with that. That looks good. I like that you can just put some files down. Um, and we'll have this sort of... There we go. Missing staff. Don't worry about the missing staff. They'll turn up. Um, right. On-call room. This is going to be the on-call room here. So what we'll have is another wall. It'll come... Not that colour. Oh, yeah, no, that colour. Another wall that'll come in here. This will actually be um, the doctor's office. So uh, let's make it really nice. Because <laughs> they get treated better, let's be honest. Like in real life. Like, love our nurses right now, and the incredible job 
um, that all of our NHS staff are doing um, during a very difficult time. There we go, there's me dating the video. But um, yeah, no, it's uh, 100%, let's be honest, doctors get treated really well um, sometimes, and it's a bit out of order. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. We live in that world. So let's um, get these doctor's offices. Let's get some nice glass desks in. Oh, yes. Look at that. Let's get some... Oh, yeah. Should we get four in for now? We don't need four, because we're not. there's not going to actually be four doctors to start off with. We'll give them this nice chair as well, because I like that chair. Um, we only need one doctor for now, so... You know, we can obviously, you know, sort of look at getting better stuff in at a later time. We'll stick a radio there. They're going to love that room. That's a banging room. What a great on-call room. Let's get a printer because they need a printer. There we go. Wow, look at that. Um, it looks okay. It, it's not the greatest room, but right now the doctors, yeah, they'll love that. And we'll get some nice flooring down for them. Look at this. Oh, some nice dark wood. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Well done, doctors. You really won the war there. Um, good for you. Right now, we're going to build our ICU. I'm going to rotate back to that way. Yeah, I like that way better. Um, so what we'll do, can we build it like that? Intensive care, beautiful. So they need, um, intensive care is slightly different. Um, they need modern hospital beds, which are quite expensive, um, because obviously they need to be cared for. And I think we can have... We're going to start with two. Should we start with two? Uh, let's have a look and see what we need. We need a life monitor. Yeah, obviously. Um, oh, and a wall socket. That's like the law in this game for me. Wall sockets are so important. Um, they, need, they need lots. Um... There needs to be disinfectant in the room. That's fine. It can go there. Uh, what's the fast... What is this? Goodness gracious me. Uh, let's put these over here. You know, yeah, lovely. Let's get a smaller cabinet down there as well. Oh, love that. That's great. Um, goodness me. So, life support. Oh, we've got a life monitor. Do they need life support as well? Does that go there? It does. They, yeah, so life support. Look at this. 3,000, 2,000, a medical ventilator, goodness me, go on, intensive care, I feel sorry for anyone that's on intensive care, I suppose, um, yeah, that sucks, let's get a defibrillator on the wall, um, and then we need probably some square tables, can we oh, actually change that? We put that there. Fast ECG. We'll probably get another equipment table down. Crap. Click that. Equipment tables. Equipment tables. There we go. Fast ECG. And then that scanner can go over there. There's only, it looks like we could probably get another bed in here. Because these machines can be shared in ICU, so we can definitely get another bed in here. I think I'm not. I'm going to leave it for now because I don't think we need it right now. Um, what I am going to do is put a couple of stretches in the oh god, a couple of stretches in the corridor because uh, that's actually quite a useful thing to have. And then can we get a privacy screen? The answer is yes. Apparently. Oh, we'll put it against the wall. Looks quite nice there, I suppose. Yeah, we go. So that looks all right. Good job. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we could wall it up. Um, I am going to do that, actually. We just wall... Wall it up, and then let's get a nice double door in there. Um, we'll have another glass double door. Uh, should we put it there? Nice. And if we get some nice... There we go. No privacy for you people. 
you are being viewed. Um, so yeah, we, we'll be able to copy that. So we'll get all that in place over here as well. Um, so that I don't know whether if we go to copy, if we select that, yeah, it grabs the whole bed and everything else that goes with it. So that's wicked. So we could definitely have two in here. So I'm pretty pleased. But we'll start with one because we don't want to spend all our money because um, it is quite expensive. And then what we'll do is we'll get some plain white floor in there. Um, this is ultimately corridor, so quite happy for that to be like that. Right, beautiful. So I think we're good in ICU. I think it it will do. We do need a cleaning cupboard and other bits, and that can come in this corridor here. So not too worried about that. So on the whole, I'm pretty pleased. So what do we need? We need a doctor. And we need a nurse. We're nursing, uh, and we need a night and day nurse. So <clears throat> you've got a long commute. You're quite slow, Jennifer Martin, and you're not the best. You're an early bird, and you have a hidden talent. But you're an intern, so let's hire you. You're young. You'll learn. Um, you're a nurse specialist. Oh, very good. And you're a hard worker, and you have a hidden talent. Should we hire you as our nighttime nurse? I think we will. Congratulations, you got the nighttime job. Now let's hire the night staff. So we just need a doctor because we have a night nurse now uh, for the day. and uh, We need a doctor for the day and a doctor for the night rather. You have a long commute doctor. So yeah, long commutes tend to get... You're a night owl. So Linda Barkley, you can be my night staff. You do have two other issues, but you're okay. You're an attending. So let's get you in place. And then hopefully yeah, you're a fresh parent. You have rest levels... So your rest levels decrease slower, but they also decrease faster. So is that does that mean it's normal? Your hid other hidden perks scares me slightly. You have two hidden. Let's let's pay a thousand pound for these ones. So you're a germa for. Oh, what was your other issue? You're a hedonist. Spends twice as much time enjoying food. Goodness me. Uh, gives depressed modifier to him or herself. Germaphobe. You you're a good boss, but you it's your commute that's a problem. You're mean. Oh, and you're a long commute. Okay, I might just hire you. There we go. We get ambulances now. Um, so there we go. Intensive care is semi-operational. We do need these bits here. Um, yeah, so we do need to get them in place. Um, I guess it wouldn't be that hard, actually. What we could do is if we grab this toilet. Go like so. Go like so. One thing in this game, I, I, I don't know whether it's just me. It might just be me. But, and it's a big but, I suppose. Why does the time not continue to move as you build? I, I understand that you can't move stuff when they're being used in this hospital. I get that to a point. For example, that computer monitor there is now green. It means I can't delete it because a member of staff is assigned to it and he's currently using it. So I can't actually delete that monitor. Um, I can't do anything with it because it's being used for a hospital-related thing. I'm cool with that. That's fine. But building whilst you're like whilst the game's playing would be a good thing because right now I'm not advancing, um, and it might just seem a little bit boring that I'm just building. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. Um, I want to put a toilet there. That's that's where that toilet's going, um, and then we're going to assign it obviously to intensive care restroom. Boom. Uh, corridor. This is all yours, intensive care. Don't try and fob it off to anyone else. It is all yours. It is all yours. And it just means that the cleaner, when I assign a cleaning room, uh, will do that. Now we can copy a cleaning room. Let's grab this one, for instance, down here. Uh, da, 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 da. Sometimes you've just got to remember where the buttons are. Oh, God. Got that one. Sometimes you've just got to remember where the buttons are. That's all I would say. Uh, so cleaning room, uh, that can go here. I'm not fussed on that. There we go, lovely stuff. And we can... Uh, not not medical laboratories though, it's going to be the cleaning closet for our ICU. And then we need to make sure we hire day cleaner. Um, oh, you're just... Well, you're a fresh... You just get the job. That We know everything about you, so congratulations on getting the job. I don't know what an elevator planner is. When using management mode as a planning tool, 
This can be used to mark where elevators will go. Well, why? Why? I'll just put the elevator there. Which seems a bit of an odd one. Um, the common room is the only thing we haven't got here, and we will be looking at common rooms in the next episode. I'm not going to do them in this episode. It'll be in the next episode we look at common rooms, because yes, that is a problem, because we only have one. Um, the only reason being is because we're actually going to look at um, one of the services um, in this game, the administrative department. And it can be quite important, like things like cafeterias and stuff like that. We will be diving into that in the next episode. So if you are looking forward to that, just uh, make sure you subscribe because um, and hit that notifications button because it's the next episode. We will be looking at cafeterias, um, all the services, op offices and stuff because they're not necessary. They're not red. Um, but we, we, we all just add them. Pharmacy, which is pretty cool. Gift shop, I would definitely be invested in. I think I'm going to put it over here as well. Um, just, just to get a gift shop in. Um, so we'll definitely do that in the next episode. That's vitally important there. So, what we're going to do, we're going to hit play because I want to fast forward to the day and see if we get any ambulances. If we do, they're going to park here and they're going to drop off. I don't know whether we have to buy one. Do we have to buy an ambulance? Does anyone know? I know that you have to buy them in the game, like they're there. Oh, wow. That's got like... So you've got that ambulance parking, right? It's as if you want to add more ambulances. We've already got an ambulance car park. This actually costs minus one pound. D does it really? So if I put that there, does that really cost minus one pound? I haven't been charged for it, so uh, let's get in our ambulance. Let's put there. There we go. We purchased an ambulance, so we get a reward there. We actually get ambulance patients. Um, that was actually a job. I didn't realize that was a job. So here we go. We now have an ambulance. We have multiple car parks. I think we only needed one, but I quite like this one ahead of that one. Um, so that's great. Let's fast forward and hopefully, I say hopefully, hope, you know, wishing someone ill and, and saying hopefully is a horrible thing, but hopefully we get a um, an injured patient today. Um, I've, I have noticed this floor is rather dirty. Is that not covered by one of our departments? It is. Great job cleaning stuff. Clean that corridor. <clears throat> ah, do you know what isn't covered by our cleaning staff? We could probably definitely do with another cleaner on emergency, by the way. Um, but this entire corridor here is definitely not covered by our cleaning staff. Does that cost us money? No, it doesn't. It says $10 there, but it doesn't. There we go. So let's hope, now that they actually clean, let's... I want to double check all the other corridors, because that radiology's corridor is literally that. They don't have to clean very much. I might have them take over that cleaning responsibility, just because, yeah, there's no harm there. Um, so that's fine. Radiology, yeah, it's just that, so that's good. Um, and then... That's upstairs. We know we've done that. And then this is all of this. And I've just noticed it's not this. So you want to make sure, you really do want to make sure that they get it. Because if like blood or anything like that ends up on the floor, they won't clean it. There we go. So I think everything's assigned. I don't think we missed anything there for now. So that's great. So we can crack on. Let's fast forward. Let's see if we can get an ambulance. I'm definitely going to screenshot that ambulance. Probably from this angle would be better, wouldn't it? Should we screenshot that ambulance from this angle? There we go. What a beautiful ambulance. So, intensive care is up and running at our hospital. It's upstairs, so anyone that missed that, it's there. Um, that's great. The one thing we don't have, actually, is a general surgery department, which we're going to have to get in. Um, we don't actually have a general surgery department yet, so we can't actually perform any surgeries. But <clears throat> it'll come. Um, 
probably it might come during the next episode when we get a gift shop in and stuff like that. But yeah, it'll come. So we'll just yeah be patient. Uh, so here we go. Um, let's let's get started. Who's going to be the first patient to turn up in an ambulance? I love that we've only got thirty patients coming in today. Slightly dis disappointing, but not a lot. Oh, we we diagnosed him incorrectly. That was a mistake. Sorry, sorry, dude. What do, what do we do? Where is he? He's coming in. He's got he's got worse now. Great. Good good job, doctors. Just diagnose our people properly. Goodness me, he could have died. Everybody. Which is sort of what we want. We want one to collapse. Um, because if we save a patient from collapsing, we'll get a good intern. Um, we get a big grant as well if we perform a surgery, but we haven't got a surgical team, so that's a bit of a problem. And we're not going to do that one either, because, um, yeah, we, we've not got enough patients coming in, only 30. We've already cure, cured a few, a few of them, which is good. Oh, there is a patient in a bed now, though. What's up with him? Oh, he's got hip uh, osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. Uh, there we go. It's a condition where cartilage slowly degenerates and, deform and deformities arise in the affected joint. Hip, or whatever that says, typically makes walking painful and cumbersome. Uh, what he actually needs is hip replacement surgery. <laughs> we don't have surgery yet. Don't be silly. He'll be in hospital for months. Let's um have a look up here. Nothing's going on up here right now. We've not had any critical sort of people come in. And our ambulance hasn't been called out yet either. Um, which is interesting. Because we should get two ambulance situations a day. Let's get rid of all those. That's great. The good news is our staff and everything are working incredibly well to get through everyone so far. Uh, there's a stretcher, so that person's going back upstairs. A fractured arm. What do you need? If you know we've got... What? We need... We need oh, she needs surgery. Blooming hell. No, well, we'll have to send her to another hospital, won't we? Uh, I'm sending her home because we're not ready for that yet. Not ready. Nearly ready, but not quite ready. Patient that couldn't leave. Yeah, I know, because I told her to. She's 82. I do, I do feel a little bit bad. I would like a patient to collapse, though. I mean, that'll be nice. If any of these patients wanted to collapse right about now, that'd be great. Can our ambulance leave? Is that... He needs hip replacement surgery. Great. Well, you can go home. Hell of it. He just got out. He needs hip replacement surgery. I'm just going to get out of bed. I, I need to go. <laughs> How much was an ambulance, by the way? 35 grand. I've just realised. I'd like no money. And we could have had a purple ambulance. Why did we not think about this? Look at that. We could have had a purple ambulance. Anyway. I'm distracted. Let's let's just let's just see if we do get, if that ambulance decides to leave. Hopefully, oh, there's an ambulance. Did it just drop someone off? Did I just miss it? There was definitely an ambulance. Maybe it just drove past. It wasn't our ambulance, which was which was crucial. <laughs> Every time. Well, at least it's making money and we, we're treating people. But on the whole, yeah, no ambulance has turned up. Oh well, maybe in the next episode it will. Um, on the whole though, it was a pretty good day. We've got our intensive care department you know, taken care of. We've organised toilets in the different departments now, although having a toilet here would be advantageous. We're going to put a staff room in here, um, hopefully which could be shared. Um, so we're going to put a staff room in here. And yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. The hospital slowly coming together. In the next episode, though, we're definitely going to be looking at some of the hospital services that came with the new DLC. How exciting a Rooney is that? I will catch every single one of you 
on the flippity flip. Bye bye now. Bye bye.